In this video, I provide specific examples of how calculus is applied in the real world, with an emphasis on applications to machine learning. All right, let's talk about modern calculus applications of the differential branch of calculus first. So remember that differentials allow us to identify the slope of a curve at any given point. Well, this enables us to optimize things. <laughs> I'll give some examples of that in a second, but it gives us the ability to optimize by finding minima or maxima. So the minimum or the maximum of curves. Minima and maxima are just the plural term of minimum and maximum. All right, so some specific examples. Differentials are used, for example, in engineering to find the maximum strength of a material or of a structure, as well as in finance to minimize cost. Differentials are also widely used in machine learning, including in deep learning. For example, we use differentials to descend the gradient of cost and minimize cost. So let's have a quick look at this example here. And this shows us a neural network in an early version of TensorFlow where things get really low level. And we're not going to dwell on the details here. The point of this isn't to teach you deep learning. The point is just to show you an application to deep learning. So in this Jupyter Notebook, we create a deep neural network or a deep learning network, and then we train it on data. And you can see that as we train our model more and more, the cost goes down towards zero. So the error that our deep learning algorithm has is decreasing. And this corresponds to an accuracy in the algorithm. So this particular model is learning how to identify handwritten digits. So if you handwrite a zero, one, a two, a three, whatever, it can learn to correctly classify that that is a zero or a one or a two or a three or whatever that handwritten image corresponds to. So as our cost goes down, our accuracy improves. And the idea here is that we're descending this gradient of cost. This is this concept of descending a gradient of cost is a huge part of this Machine Learning Foundation series. It's probably the biggest single topic that we cover. So through learning calculus and learning how to optimize functions, everything kind of builds up to a really deep understanding of how gradient descent works. For the time being, we're just going to talk about it at a high level. But the idea is that we can use differential calculus to gradually adjust the parameter values of our model so we can gradually adjust the weights of our model and we can adjust those weights in such a way that we find our way to the minimum in this curve where cost is minimized, right? So that's gradient descent. You can also have gradient ascent in machine learning, for example, to maximize reward. That brings us to an example of something called a deep Q learning network, which is a reinforcement learning algorithm. And we're not going to go into the details of reinforcement learning at all in this course, except to say that the idea in reinforcement learning is that we're trying to maximize some reward. So in this case, we are training an algorithm to play a video game and the highest possible score in the video game is 200. So at the beginning, before this algorithm has learned how to play the video game, it's not very good. It doesn't get anywhere near that top score of 200. But there are particular kinds of reinforcement learning algorithms where we directly learn how to ascend this reward curve and we figure out how to adjust the, the parameters, the weights of our model in order to be able to ascend this score curve and maximize it. So these kinds of models eventually after many, many rounds of training or in some approaches, maybe fewer rounds of training, but with this particular model here, after several hundred rounds of training, there are some rounds of gameplay where we're getting that 200 maximum possible point score in the game. We're maximizing our reward in the game because it's zero indexed. 199 is the 200 point. Yeah, and as we, you know, as we train the model more and more, we get that maximum score 
more and more often. So we're learning to maximize reward. Nice, so those are a couple of examples of how we can use differential calculus to find the minimum or the maximum of a curve to minimize cost or maximize reward. We can also use second order derivatives. So remember how we can go from say distance over time and then take the first derivative of that curve to get speed over time. And then the second derivative is to have acceleration over time. And so in the same idea, we can use concepts like acceleration, these higher order derivatives of a gradient in fancy optimizers. And so these can typically learn more quickly because they can take advantage of how quickly an algorithm is learning for any particular parameter or weight in our machine learning model. So we'll cover that in the eighth and final subject of this machine learning foundation series, which is called optimization. All right, so there are some examples of how we apply differential calculus to the real world today, including with a focus on machine learning. Don't worry if the details of this uh, escaped you. We are going to dig into the details of how calculus relates to machine learning gradually and more and more and more and in further detail as this machine learning foundation series goes on. All right, and then with respect to that second branch of calculus, the integral branch of calculus, where we're trying to find the area under a curve, this is useful in machine learning, for example, to calculate a metric called the receiver operating characteristic. So the receiver operating characteristic is this curve shown in orange here, and the area under that curve is a very common metric and very powerful metric when we have a kind of machine learning model called a binary classification model. So a model that's predicting between two different classes, like is this thing a hot dog or not a hot dog? Is this thing a dog or a cat? So we see this metric a lot, and we're going to dig into the metric as well as using integral calculus to calculate the area under the curve in subject four of this machine learning foundation series, which is called Calculus 2, and that is coming up after the Calculus 1 that we're studying now. We will also later see integral calculus in this machine learning foundation series in the fifth subject on probability and information theory, and we'll see it in probability theory's so-called expectation of a random variable. And this is a widely used concept in machine learning, again, including deep learning, which we will see in detail when we get to that fifth subject. So yes, so lots of applications of calculus to machine learning, both differential calculus and integral calculus. And that's why it's so important that we understand it well, like we are going to over these calculus subjects. Sweet, that's it for high level framing of what calculus is and why it's useful. Starting with the next video, we'll begin digging into the low-level theory and practice as to how calculus works. I promise I make what could be a dull subject highly interactive and engaging.